Hi everyone, Josh here, and I'm in Hong Kong. I'm getting ready to stay at the Ritz Carlton Hong Kong, which is the tallest hotel room in the whole world. Inside this massive building to my right, I'm so excited. We're gonna be maybe possibly close to the 117th floor. Let's go check it out. that is not an accident we are on the 109th floor this is the tallest hotel rooms in the whole world here in hong kong at the ritz carlton i am so excited to be here and we got a surprise upgrade to the victoria harbor view suite the best possible upgrade you can get here i don't even know how that happened but i i'm still taking it all in but right away walking in this is absolutely phenomenal it is so luxurious it is a little bit on the older side, but it doesn't really feel that way. I am just blowing my mind with emotions, but we have this unique hallway walking in here and right away it transitions into the carpet. Very homey feeling, very light, very beautiful. We've got the whole mini bar section over here with the Nespresso machine that Ritz Carlton's all have um, with the Nespresso pods over here, hot water maker for your tea, and then uh, the whole mini fridge down below with drinks for purchase, snacks for purchase, and other items for purchase in the cabinets. But I just really love the design, the shape. I love how the walls change as you kind of move around, um, how we got mirrors, and then we've got this cool paneling over here by the desk. I like that. I don't just like flat walls. I like it when it changes as it moves with different materials, and that's exactly what we have here. This is the beautiful work desk, the executive desk. You feel like a king when you're sitting here. You've got this huge table, power outlets, a phone, all these amenities, and this is gonna be one of the best views in the whole world. I don't know if you can see it with the glare, but look at the view. You can see all of Hong Kong, all of Victoria Harbor right here, absolutely incredible. And this is a suite. So we've got this huge suite area, but let's take a look at this beautiful corner room this is absolutely phenomenal. I don't even know where to look, but we're literally looking out into Hong Kong right over here. We're in Kowloon area, um, but this is one of the famous rooms because it has this amazing uh, telescope here that is in their photos. And yes, this is real. If you get the um, Victoria Harbor Room Suite, your room will have this. And it's really cool because you can look out and you can see things up close. But just how this corners here, there's no other room in the world like this. There's no other hotel room in the world higher than this absolutely phenomenal we can even see over here the um the hotel the ritz carlton those are the other rooms it's just the coolest building design i've ever seen um, so you're gonna find me sitting over here for a lot of the period just kind of looking out here this is absolutely phenomenal i still cannot believe we got this incredible upgrade so they have plenty of furniture to be sitting down to be look, relaxing at the view but i love how it's pretty much the floor to ceiling windows and the architecture of the building is just absolutely phenomenal. Now, if you do have the first TV over here, so you can be in this incredible living room with the best view of Hong Kong and the view of your TV all at once, really cool. Now, the rooms are separated by these dividers. This is now heading into the master bedroom suite, one of the most amazing views from your bed you will ever have. This is the king bed. Um, only suites here have the king bed, but looking out, we have the automatic curtains, which you can control here, which is very nice. I love when hotels have the automatic curtains. That is a huge plus in my opinion. Um, but look at this. You can even sit here in your master bedroom suite or while you're in bed, just literally glancing over, you're looking at the harbor, you're looking at all the boats. And at nighttime, they have the light show 
here in Hong Kong and you're literally in the best seat in the whole house to watch that light show. You have the control panel here by your bed for different lighting modes. You do have this um, lamp and it is dimmable so you can set the exact uh, lighting mode that you prefer. But very plush pillows. I have to say, look at this gold plating around the pillows. I haven't really seen that before. That is actually really, um, really fancy. So that actually looks really cool. And right here we have the second TV right from your bed so you can watch that. We have a big closet space. They put all the bags in there for now. And then right around the corner here, we have um, the robes and it looks like uh, the ironing board down below. I will say these robes are cool because they literally say the Ritz Carlton and they say Hong Kong. So that's cool. They are not super fluffy. They're, they're kind of medium that I approve. They're okay, but they're not like super, super soft, super, super fluffy and like plush kind of like the Ritz Carlton and Singapore's robes were. But regardless, it's still nice that they have those. It's still gonna be nice to put a robe on and enjoy that. Now heading into the bathroom, this bathroom does connect to kind of the entrance where we first walked in. It kind of goes all the way through, but it also has closing doors for complete privacy with this really cool like wood design. I'm not quite sure what it is, but very unique. So the bathroom heading on in here, we do have the two sinks with this really beautiful marbling. And it's like, um, it's not like a pure white, it's like kind of a transparent one, but it's just really, really unique and cool. They do have the new Diptyque soaps. They are transitioning from Asprey, so this one has fully transitioned. Um, but I just love how you don't just have the flat walls. You've got the marble, you've got the light, then you've got the mirror, and then you've got the mirror inside the mirror, and then you've got the indentation of the ceiling. It just feels very luxurious, absolutely incredible. Now this tub is also very luxurious. We have a whole giant mirror here by the tub, and it does have a TV as well, just like the St. Regis Hong Kong did. So you can be watching the TV while you're in the tub but really cool design. It is a spacious tub, so you do have plenty of space, but it does feel very relaxing. Now, the tub here does not have a view of um, an outside, so that is one thing they could have maybe done to improve it, is have it like a bathtub with a view, like um, the Ritz-Carlton Singapore. And then right next to the tub, we also have the shower, and I have to say this is the coolest rainfall shower head I've ever seen. It's massive, it's huge, and that's what I am excited to try, but it also is just a very nice, beautiful shower. Now, the toilet area is very big, and in here, I wanna show you because we actually have our third sink. So you have a separate area over here with the automatic opening toilet with the third sink. And then this is where um, it actually then connects into the main hallway of the room. Um, and then this is the front door where we just came in. Overall, I am so impressed. This hotel has blown my expectations just completely out of the water. I can't even believe this view. It's almost fake to me that they can even build buildings like this this high. Absolutely phenomenal tremendous. I can't wait to now show you the rest of the hotel. Let's go check it out. And welcome to the beautiful Ritz-Carlton Hong Kong, soaring 490 meters above sea level, making it the highest hotel room in the world when you're considering just the height of the building overall. There are some other hotels that may be higher elevation wise or may claim to just have a bigger building, but none of them are 490 meters high. Now the property does occupy the top 102 to 118 floors of the building, which is on the very top, which is really spectacular because a lot of times those top floors are occupied by residences or other things. So staying at this hotel, you truly are at the top. A great experience. Every time we arrived, our doors were open. They escort you and walk you to the elevators that you must ride up to the 103rd floor to check in. They take 90 seconds and there was always someone there to hold the elevator for us to let us up. But it's a quick 90 second ride. That elevator moves so quick. And then once you're up there, you do have the beautiful check-in area. Our check-in was fantastic and flawless. Big shout out to Lincoln who not only checked us in, but showed us to the room. He is phenomenal, which exemplifies the gold standard of service that Ritz Carlton's are known for. Now this property, since it has opened in 2011, uh, has not been renovated since. So this is the original design that we are experiencing. Now our room was on the 109th floor. Like I mentioned, we were upgraded to this beautiful Victoria Harbor View suite. And as soon as you walk in, it really does take your breath away. The property has 312 guest rooms and it is Forbes five star approved, which truly is the most the highest achievement I think a hotel can achieve in the world. Now the views actually in this hotel in every direction are spectacular because you are so high. It's like you're in an exhibit where you pay to go to the lookout deck, but it's literally from your room. 
Now, the design of the building was done by Caesar Pelli, an architectural masterpiece, and the whole building is known as the International Commerce Center in Dubai. So below the 102nd floor is, of course, offices and other things. Now, this was the night view from our room, just looking out over the whole city. Whether it's day or night, you're definitely going to look, look at want to look out the windows. Now, sometimes when there is a storm, it can make the windows almost white and you can't see out. So I'm happy we were there during good visibility. Now, the property has six different dining options. I'm going to try to go over all of them real quick. This was Ozone. This was probably my favorite just because it's more modern, the cool design, uh, but it does offer beautiful setting and cocktails, drinks. It's more of an evening venue, but it definitely was very popular and seemed very nice. Ozone is unique because it also has an outside patio sitting area where you can kind of have a really amazing view of the whole city, but overall that is my favorite. Now, next up, going down the escalator from the lobby, you have the other dining venue. Now, this is the Italian restaurant. It is fine dining, and this has stunning views from it. I was only able to see it here because it was closed at the time. We didn't eat any of the restaurants, but definitely next time. This is the Chinese restaurant, which is uh, located on the 102nd floor. And then this is the lounge and bar. This is like the main restaurant. This is where they serve breakfast as well as uh, afternoon tea and cocktails. But this one is probably the well most well-known. Now the restaurants definitely, I think, are due for renovation. They were just seeing them a little bit old, especially like the chairs and furniture. This is Cafe 103 because it's located on the 103rd floor, which is the same floor as the lobby. It's kind of a smaller little area, but they do have lunch and dinner buffets. Now we're going to go ahead and head to the spa next, which is on the 116th floor. The great thing about this spa is the fitness center, the steam room, and the sauna is all included for all guests. I've seen more and more properties recently charging extra money to use the spa and steam room. I think at all luxury properties, it should be included for the high price. This is part of the spa. This is called the relaxation area. I wasn't able to see any of the treatment rooms, but those also from the photos, I see they have incredible views of the city, which is just amazing to have an amazing view from a treatment room. Now this is heading down the hallway, going into the men's locker room. The men's locker room is pretty extensive. They have tons of lockers. They'll actually assign you one. This is all complimentary with everyone who stays here. They have showers, they have the steam room, and they have the sauna. We really liked it because you can get ready here before you walk out to the pool. And the pool is connected here at this store at the very end of the locker room. Here's another whole section of the lockers because again, the property has 312 guest rooms. So there's a lot of guests. So they have to accommodate all those. Here's another shower area with those diptyque soaps. And then here's that sauna. And I really like the sauna because of all the wood. I wish the sauna had a view from the high floor. It just does, has a view of the locker room. Now here is the pool. It is an infinity edge pool. It's one of the coolest infinity edges pools in the world. It reminds me of the new Ritz Carlton Melbourne, Australia, as well as the new Ritz Carlton Portland, Oregon that also have infinity edge pools that are almost just as spectacular. This one is very nice. Now it does have the record for the highest hot tub jacuzzi in the world and it has stunning views, but yes, it does have the ward. It's 490 meters above sea level and you have views that not all the rooms have. So we really enjoyed sitting there and looking out. The pool is also unique because it's the first one I've ever seen that has this huge LED screen there. So that is just uh, spectacular. They also have several little hot tub jacuzzi areas that you can walk to. One is like, I think, colder side and then one is a little bit warmer, but you can go ahead and use both of those with a view of that hot tub. Now the hot tub outside, they do close if there's thunder and lightning. So keep that in mind. It was closed quite a few times just because I guess it's a health risk if you're up there and you get a lightning strike. Now here's going into the fitness center. I do highly approve of the fitness center. We did a treadmill run and you have the best views sky high kind of looking over. They also had complimentary amenities in there with a the really cool water filtration system. It was very nice with some uh, fresh fruit and other cold towels and amenities. Definitely a high-end fitness center. The property also features a gift shop. The service at this property, I have to say, is above perfect. Like it exceeds my perfect score standards. Even when we left the property, I mentioned that I had before we were leaving and they made us this whole going away card and had a gift for us along with that amazing amenity in the room. They were attentive to our every need, every service request. It was above what I look for. Incredible. The convenient thing is the property is located to this big shopping mall. And in the shopping mall as well, there is a train that can take you right to the airport, which was extremely convenient. Now in the Hong Kong area, we did visit the K11 shopping mall, which is insane, as well as Disneyland Hong Kong, which is definitely a day trip I highly recommend. 
Okay, now for the review of the Ritz Carlton Hong Kong. I'm right here in our amazing corner looking out of the Victoria Harbor. I wanna go ahead and do the review. So just starting out, um, I wanna start with the room. Now, for most people, you're gonna love the room. You're gonna, this hotel is gonna be absolutely perfect. But for, for me, for room, I will give it a 4.5 out of five. And the reason is, everything here is 12 years old. The hotel opened in 2011, it has been 12 years. Now they have done a very good job upkeeping the rooms, the hallways, the lobby. However, it is to me looking more aged and I can feel it. I actually just didn't feel 100% comfortable in the room. The wood is a little bit on the older side. There are just some flat walls with some pictures hanging when you first walk in. There it was just areas that looked like they just weren't right after so long. One of the lights and the curtains are a little bit older, the carpet as well. I just compared to the St. Regis, it was complete opposite experience for me. It just everything felt old. However, the view of course is amazing, but taking out the view, if it was just the room only, I do have to give it a four and a half. I just didn't really feel 100% comfortable. Next up is going to be inspiration. Now, because the inside of the hotel is older, I wanted to give it a four and a half, but the view is so inspirational. I have to give it a five um, just because of the architecture of the building and the view. Those are the two reasons why I'm giving it a five out of five on inspiration. If it was just the interior, we get a much, much lower score just because it is 12 years old. Um, again, they have done a great job keeping up. You might love it, but for me, it just it didn't feel right. But inspiration, you cannot beat this view. Highest hotel rooms in the whole world right now. Absolutely incredible. You wake up and you're looking out at this. It's just, you can't even believe it. Now, sometimes storms roll in and all these windows get completely white. You can't even see out. Um, but right now it actually cleared up a little bit. So it's actually a very, very amazing view. Next up is gonna be service. Service will get a five out of five. Everyone here has been extremely friendly, accommodating. There's always someone to help you in the elevator. Every time I've went to the front desk, it's a relaxing experience and happy experience. They actually wanna help you. It's not um, an anxiety invoking experience. Like sometimes you go to the front desk, even check-in was just flawless, made us feel just so special, no problems, took us to the room, every service request, beautiful amenity. I just service here, um, very, very, very good. And then uh, finally is gonna be value, um, what I return. That I will give a five out of five, but it's contingent on when they renovate. I'm not sure when they will in the next few years, but I cannot wait to be back when they do renovate. Until then, I will not be back. Once I've been here two nights, I'm done. I'd rather actually go to the St. Regis. Some people would probably rather come back here. For me though, I just more about the new interior and the new rooms, and that St. Regis really did it for me here in Hong Kong. Um, it's actually kind of right over there. But this view, you can't beat. The St. Regis could not beat this view, but for me, it's more about like the inside and how I feel. Um, but otherwise, when they do renovate, I can't wait to come back. So I'm hinging on that for the five out of five on value. Um, so overall, very good score. Really happy I stayed here. Now this hotel is pretty expensive. It's around 750 US dollars a night for a basic room. This room here is about 1,400 US dollars a night, which is a little bit more expensive. Um, however, um, with I believe Titanium and Ambassador members, you can get a complimentary upgrade to this room like we did. It just depends on if it's available. It's not always available just because they're usually in high demand. Um, if you're dreaming points, it's the highest um, points redemption value. Its ranges can be anywhere from, I believe about 75 to even over 100,000 points in some nights. So just keep that in mind. But otherwise, incredible hotel. I'm so, had, I'm so happy I had a chance to stay here. This is my 14th Ritz Carlton um, and it didn't disappoint.